Hey everyone, I thought we could start the week by talking about The Fictional Woman by Tara Moss. This is a sort of memoir feminist book about her life and her views on women and how they are represented in the media and the stories we tell about women. Also some aspects of the women's rights and the women's movement and development and generally women and gender studies and stuff. Unfortunately, it's been a while since I finished listening to this book and since I listened to it, I don't really have an index to see like this is the content, this is what she talked about. And I realized I can't really give good examples about the book, but I really liked the book. I liked that she narrated it herself, so it was very personal. And I liked the stories she told about her upbringing, her experiences as a teenager, as a teenage girl and her experiences as a young teenage model and her career as a writer. I really liked the way she talked about her life and I also liked how she connected it to the fact that's like how it is as a woman and this is how women are in this life and how women are seen in this life. Apart from a personal story, there's also a lot of information and a lot of facts in there about women's rights and the women's movement and statistics and a lot of information that I didn't know. Liking this book was very easy for me because a lot of the things she talked about I could relate to. I could relate to her frustrations as growing up a girl in some ways. I could relate to the stories of harassment she told and I could relate to the way that women are represented and seen and also how men perceive women. There was this one example that I remember that men apparently perceive women to be a lot more there despite them not being there. So men perceive us as equally represented even though we may just be there 10% for them. She, she had this example with a room where 10% I think was filled with women, the rest were men and they thought it was half and half, something like that. What I also liked is that she didn't want to change everything, that she didn't say this is really bad or this is really bad, this is how it should be, but that she just represented facts a lot of times and her frustrations and the things that were not okay, that needed to be changed and the things that she still wanted and that she liked. And I thought this made it very understandable and I could compare it to the other feminist book that I recently read where I couldn't really comprehend where the woman was coming from because it was from such a different position than the one I made and with this book I felt much more comfortable. I felt I'm having similar experiences or similar ideas about the whole situation than Tara Moss has. Unfortunately, I cannot give you more details about what this book is actually doing, but I really recommend it because it was very informative, it was very interesting and it's very well written. So alone for that, it's worth listening to or reading. And if you have read the book, tell me in comments and let's talk about what you thought about the book. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.